In February of 2012, I finally took the plunge and got trained in the use of fluoroscopy. Fluoroscopy is motion x-ray, it's digital x-ray, and the, a, a typical fluoroscopic unit is like mine, this is called a C-arm. Uh, the arm is shaped like a C. And what this allows for is we use a very low dose radiation, about the same as if you were to go to the dentist. And uh, it's, not, it's not good for diagnostic x-rays, but it's great for needle placement and sort of rough evaluations as well. But what it allows us to do is, uh, I've got the, the turkey here, so we're looking at a straight, what we call anterior to posterior, or A to P. And we can see uh, where the needle is in relationship to, uh, to the skeleton in this dimension. And then we're able to pivot the arm, rotate it like this, and then we can see it in a diff completely different plane. So what it does is it allows for three-dimensional imaging. We take uh, views at several different angles to verify needle placement. This is an example of looking at uh, needle placement in two orientations to give a three-dimensional concept. Uh, so here we're looking at an L3, L4 lumbar injection. So we're injecting into the L3, L4 intervertebral disc. You can see the needle in position, but there's really no way to know that it's exactly in the disc until we look at it uh, from, from uh, another angle. Now we're looking anterior to posterior, we're looking straight on, and we can see the needle tip is exactly in the middle. I inject a little contrast, which is a little ionized uh, iodine, very safe, it's been used forever, uh, and we just see a little, we were able to see the shape of the disc, and then I would follow this with, uh, with stem cells. This is an example of a proper knee injection. So the needle is a little bit to one side, it's a little to the outside, this is the fibula here, so we know this is the outside. I inject a little contrast, and we can see the contrast travel up and through all the compartments of the knee. Then as a final example, this is another knee. The needle is in exactly the same spot, it, it would appear, but when we inject, it looks like a black cotton ball, and that means that we're in a fat pad. So if we were to inject stem cells into the fat pad, the, um, we, what would end up happening is they would all just collect inside it and we wouldn't get them into contact with the joint surfaces.